Hi everyone, how are you? In Windows, we have something called Remote Desktop Services. So what is Windows RDS and how it works? Let's see in this awesome lecture. So what is Remote Desktop Services? To make things really simple, if you have ever worked on a Windows operating system, you know that you can connect remotely to any Windows system using the built-in functionality, which is the remote desktop connection. So you open the remote desktop client, you enter the name of the computer you want to connect to, or maybe the IP address, and then you can connect and work on that PC or server. So simple. In Windows servers, this connection can be concurrent. So you can open multiple sessions concurrently on this server. By default, you can open only two sessions. Now, to increase this limit, simply we use remote desktop services. So this awesome service allows you to open the limit when you want to connect concurrent sessions to your servers. So now, multiple users, maybe 100, 1000 users can connect the same server and take a session and work on that server as if they have a separate PC for themselves. So this is the main concept behind remote desktop services. The other thing and the other awesome features that you can do with remote desktop services is remote applications. Now, to make things simple, if we have a server and we have Microsoft Office installed in or any application on this server installed, now, a client from his PC can open that application remotely without even installing anything on his PC. So now we can open applications remotely without the need to open a full session, a full Windows session to connect to your applications. The third awesome feature is what we call virtual desktops. Today with virtualization and with the help of remote desktop services, you can even connect and get a full desktop remotely, a full PC remotely and log in on your machine as if you have a full PC and not a session or application. To make things simple, in one minute, let's take this scenario. We have a server and we have Hyper-V installed on. Hyper-V is a virtualization software that allows you to install multiple virtual machines or multiple PCs on your server. So now we have multiple machines like 10 Windows 10 machines running on that server. Now with the help of remote desktop services, anyone can get this full PC and connect to it as if and he will have a full PC for himself remotely. Also with the help of the new protocol, the remote FX, now you can even redirect scanners, you can re redirect USB ports, so you will have a full experience, a full desktop experience using virtual desktops and remote desktop services. I hope you got the point. To sum up, remote desktop services is a role that will be installed on a Windows server machine and it allows you to get remote session desktops, remote application, or a full remote virtual desktop. And all these stuff will be configured and installed on a central server. And what you have to know that remote desktop services can run on your local private network, on your LAN or over the internet. That's it about remote desktop services. Now before we end the lecture, let's talk a little bit about the benefits. Why do we use remote desktop services? There are a number of reasons why you want to choose to use remote desktop services. It might be that the hardware or the operating system on the client's machine cannot support particular applications. Like maybe the drivers are not compatible with the client operating system or maybe it's a situation where the hardware does not support a particular application and it's expensive to update all clients hardware. So you can update the server hardware then multiple clients can use the same hardware and you will decrease the cost. Or sometimes the client might have older or different architecture of the operating system that is not compatible with a certain application. Like maybe the client has a 32-bit operating system and the application needs 64-bit, so now RDS will be a fantastic solution. Another reason to use remote desktops 
is the licensing cost of a certain applications to be installed on multiple client computers. Let's take an example. Suppose we have 10 computers and we want to run an expensive software on them. The cost per license is $1,000 per machine as an example. Now, if we install the software on all the machines, it will cost around $10,000. But now, let's use RDS and install one license on a central server and configure RDS for the clients, then maybe it will cost only $1,000 instead of $10,000. And that is wonderful. 